There's always some strange, weird, crazy stuff to find on eBay, and here are some things that are currently on eBay right now that you can bid on. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another video. And what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to look at crazy stuff on eBay. Crazy, cool, weird stuff you're probably going to bid on. This is not an endorsement. It's not stuff I'm selling. I'm not putting links in the description. You can see what they are here and go search them if you want them for yourself. It's more just, hey, look what's on eBay right now. This is a series of videos. I've done quite a bit of them, uh, three or four of them. And if you want, check out the playlist so you can see the others. Now, I'm not going to waste any more of your time, so let's get into this. Do you ever wonder where Jumpman gets those cool shirts he's always wearing in videos? Well, JumpmanMerch.com. JumpmanMerch.com. You can get all kinds of shirts, from Star Wars to old retail stores to all kinds of toy shirts. Man, you want a shirt? It's going to be here. Even one that says, Cancel Junkman. Even one with Aunt Esther on it. That's right. Even He-Man stuff. Who knows what you'll find there at JumpmanMerch.com. Never know what you got to find, but you know you're going to look cool once you find it. JumpmanMerch.com. Check out this first one we have. BJ and the Bears. Anybody remember BJ and the Bear? Whew, I don't like this as a kid. Especially it had the camper part or whatever you call it, The trailer part to it. The trailer hitch. That would have been cool, but it's just a cab, the KW cab. Yep, KW. This is not a Peterbilt. You know, Peterbilt built a truck for a man to drive. It's pretty good living, but it ain't no life. A farmer's daughter or a drunk man's wife, Peterbilt a truck for a man to drive. Well, that's enough of that. Sorry about that. BJ and the Bear from Road Champions. Look at this, $70? I don't know about that, but it's pretty darn cool. And what was a spinoff of BJ and the Bear, or maybe this was a... I think this one came second. Sheriff Lobo. Check this out. You can get this glossy, I don't know if it's glossy, original 35 millimeter image of Sheriff Lobo, Birdie, and the other guy. I can't remember their names. I can't remember their names. But that would look pretty good on a t-shirt, if you were to ask me. Man, look at this. Who wouldn't bid on this? $25. Wouldn't it look good? I need to get it, hang it, frame it up there. Look really good in the junk room. I think it look really, really good. Let's go back to like the 70s and check this out. Oh, actually, 80. Sorry, 1984. A 1984 unused box of Saran Wrap. Do they even make that? I didn't know it was a brand name. I thought it was just something. I thought any kind of that plastic stuff was just called Saran Wrap. I guess not. This one's good for the microwave. Microwaves were new in 1984. Uh, 82, excuse me, 1982. Remember when microwaves were something new to get excited about? What? I can hook, cook a hot dog in 20 seconds? Yeah, that's right. 30 seconds if you want to burn it. Man. The microwave sure did change things around. Oh, let's check out another thing on eBay. Look at this. Vintage 70 Shotgun Red with Straw Hat. He Haul Toy Stuff Tall. Fit. Mm. I don't know about you. I don't remember Shotgun Red. I don't remember Shotgun Red wearing a hat. You know, I had a girlfriend. Well, I, my ex-wife, she thought Shotgun Red and Willie Nelson was the same thing. Oh, women. <laughs> anyway, I, I, he's more 80s. I don't think he was even on He Haul. Could be wrong. I always watched him on Nashville now. And Country Clips. Remember when he used to host his own video show? Country Clips. Some of you are saying, what the hell is a shotgun red? Let's move on to another thing that's currently on eBay. Ooh, I don't even want to look at this one. Amazing Vintage Rare Greek Sports Billy. I, know I had to put this one on here because I grew up watching Sports Billy on USA Cartoon Network and I couldn't remember exactly what this was. I knew it was something sports related and whenever I tried to ask anybody, hey, remember that old cartoon that was kind of like the Olympics? And they said, Love Olympics? I was like, no, it's about a little boy. Well, it was Sport Billy and I didn't know they, I knew they made like a toy gun thing, but I didn't know they made this. But it's pretty darn creepy. It is pretty darn creepy to say the least. And you want to talk creepy? Well, check this out. The Pink Panther. And he's got one of them UK police hats. What's the Pink Panther doing in the UK? Probably hitting hitting crumbles with his bobby stick or whatever they call him. Oh, this is like that cheap kind of plastic you can see. I've, I've talked about this. Was this in the last video we did? I swear. I, I was sitting to make a joke. I was that cheap plastic you can see through. And I remember seeing that. Let's move on. I think this was in the last video. So let's look at another picture. You can own this picture. That's right. Vanna White holding her Barbie Vanna White. 35 mil color slide. If you have one of those color slide projectors, we know you can throw it in there and look at this. Vanna White from the 80s. I didn't know she even had a doll, but she does. And you can get a picture of her holding the doll. 
Who wouldn't want that? $7.50. <laughs> Where's my wallet? That's what I want to say. Check out our board game. This one is for you, Russ. If you don't know Russ, that's my buddy. Every bi-weekly we do, <laughs> we do a live stream. Two dinosaurs outside. Tasty Freeze. This Saturday, the 7th, 8 o'clock Eastern. We're going to be live. It's going to be a lot of fun. But check this out. Amazing Rare. I think I've heard of that a couple of times. Geek Board Game. The Love Boat. Man, I ought to get this. And me and Russ ought to play this on a live stream. That would be a lot of fun. I might bid on... $300? <laughs> That's more than Gavin McCloud even got paid being on the first season of Love Boat. No, thank you. This is more my style here. Vintage Epstein doll. Look at that Epstein doll with no shirt on. No nipples, no nipples, and no belly button for Epstein. What's going on? But I like that he's busting that sag, showing it, you know, that dick root bone. Oh, man. Let's move back into the 80s because I love the A team. Here we go, Vintage Color and Activity Book, 1983, the 18 Hannibal Face Toy TV Show. Mmm, Mr. T. Man, they didn't put Murdoch in the title. What's up with that? Now, this would be fun to buy and do on a live stream. Hell, I don't even need a live stream. I'll just do it in the living room by myself. The thing looks like it's a lot of fun. He even has a picture of Mr. T pointing his finger at you. Mr. T coming back at you. Uh, what about Planet of the Apes? Did you like Planet of the Apes? Well, you could dress like them with this. Don Post Planet of Mask is probably the creepiest things I've ever seen in my life. Whew. If I saw this guy walking down the road wearing this, asking for candy on Halloween Eve, I would go crazy. This thing looks like some scary crap to me. And to be honest with you, I'm thinking the middle one, I went to school, I think it was one of my teachers in the seventh grade, it looks just like Miss Harnett. Miss Harnett. It looks like it might be Miss Harnett. Hopefully she's not seeing this video. Let's get out. I don't want to look at this. It's too creepy. Let's move on. How about this one right here? Who you gonna call? Goldbuckers! Who you gonna call? Goldbuckers! Who you gonna call? Goldbuckers! That's right, Ghostbusters. It's that little paper game. Everybody had this little... Had a steering wheel on it and everything. It was just some generic. But they made this one into a Ghostbusters. Oh, excuse me. The real Ghostbusters. I didn't see that. Let me start over. Who you gonna call? The real Ghostbusters. Who you gonna call? The real Ghostbusters. Who you gonna call? The real Ghostbusters. Whew. Is that enough? Was that enough? Whew. Let's move. Hmm. 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 Now this is just weird. Look at this Star Wars vintage Chewbacca mask. I don't. I, if you say so, it looks like a bunch of seaweed they glued together. I don't know. I've got to see this on someone's head. This is really, really strange. Again, I wish this wasn't $99. That would be... Go and look at it fit over your face. Look, like it just sit on top of your head. I've been. I've seen a lot of vintage Star Wars stuff, but I don't think this is official license because I've never seen anything that looks anything like this. They don't even have the color right. The color right. Unless Chewbacca has the mange or something. I don't know. Hmm. Now, I don't know what this next toy is right here, but man, it looks awesome. It's by Rimco from the 70s. It's in the box, 1979, barely in there. Sound FX Machine. And it's got like a fake X-Wing on it. It looks like it's got R2 in the back. I don't know exactly what this thing is. I need to look more into it because it looks badass. I like to have it here. Those controllers look really good in the Joker room with controllers on it. Just a real, it screams 70 Toy Tech. I love it. I love it. Now, we got one more to look at. And let's say in the 70s you worked at Hardee's. Not Carl's Jr., but let's say you worked at Hardee's. You wanted to look cool. Well, you could with this. The vintage Hardee's cap. I know. I love this. This is awesome. As a kid, I love going to Hardee's. More in the 80s. Big hot ham and cheese. I still buy them today if I see a Hardee's. I love the Hardee's hot ham and cheese. I love it. But there you go right there. $44.99. You could look cool. Now, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what swag is. I hear all the kids saying looking swag. But I'm pretty sure whatever swag is, it's got something to do with wearing this Hardy's hat. Because it looks like swag, if you ask me. Well, that's all of them. I can't believe it. Neither can you. Check out the Rustin' Junk Man, Two Dinosaurs Outside of TV podcast, wherever you get your podcasts, or watch us live tomorrow on the 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern. See you then. Hey, Junk Man <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>